Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on ESI Corporation Pharmacist Exam Paper Answer Explanation. In this video, I will explain four of the questions with complete answer explanation. Let us look at the questions first. The first question is, the procedure of removing ovaries is called. Options given are salpingectomy, oophorectomy, vasectomy, colostomy. Now understand this word, ectomy wherever is there, it stands for removal or cutting. You know, we all studied about atom. Tommy means to cut or remove. A means which cannot be cut. Undivisible particle is known as atom. This is what we studied. Undivisible means which cannot be cut. So from there you got this word ectomy, removal or cut. So salpingectomy means to cut or remove fallopian tubes. When there is an ectopic pregnancy, this is what is carried out. Salpingectomy means removal of cutting of fallopian tube. The other one, oophorectomy means removal of ovaries. This is what is the question about. Re the procedure of removal of ovaries is called as oophorectomy. The next one is vasectomy. Vasectomy is a kind of family planning which is carried out on men for male sterility. Vas difference is cut. That process is called as vasectomy. Now the last one is colostomy. Understand this one. Colo means colon. Stomy means opening or a hole. When there is a blockade in the colon, a hole is created. That is what is called as colostomy. So this is about this question. So the answer for this question is oophorectomy removal of ovaries. Let us look at the second question. Now anaphylactic allergy falls under which of the following types of hypersensitivity? Type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4. This is a very popular question which is being repeatedly asked. In, in May uh, 2023 in Telangana, drug inspector exam was conducted. In that also this question is there. Now there is a simple mnemonic to understand uh, all these types of hypersensitivity. The mnemonic is ACID, A-C-I-D. Type 1 is allergic hypersensitivity. A stands for allergy. Type 2 is C, cytotoxic hypersensitivity. Type 3 is immune complex. I, AC, I stands for immune complex. Type 4 is D, acid, delayed or cell mediated hypersensitivity. So the question is about allergic anaphylactic shock falls under A, type 1. So option for this uh, answer, uh, answer for this question is type 1 hypersensitivity. Now let us look into the uh, third question. The heteroatom present in phenothiazine are, see, phenothiazine is a very popular uh, heterocyclic ring which are widely used to treat psychosis or schizophrenia. Uh, chlorpromazine, thioridazine, uh, uh, all these azines belongs to phenothiazine group. Now they are made up of three atoms. Two of them are phenyl rings and the center atom is made up of six atoms at one and four position sulfur and nitrogen are there. Phenothiazine, understand this one. See, 5 membered ring with nitrogen is azole. 6 membered ring with nitrogen is azine. 7 membered ring with nitrogen is azepine, benzodiazepines. 7 membered ring with nitrogen. Azine, 6 membered with nitrogen. Thiazine means sulfur and aza nitrogen is there. Very simple question. See, the word itself says phenothiazine. So, what kind of heteroatoms you have? Thia means sulfur, aza means nitrogen. Option 2 says sulfur and nitrogen. So, option 2 is the Correct answer. Now let us move on to the next question. Which of the following is an H2 receptor antagonist? Look at the option: cyclizine, cimetidine, provoxifene, loperamide. Now cyclizine, buclizine, all of them are H1 receptor antagonists which are widely used to treat allergic reactions. So this is not the answer. Now second one is cimetidine. Cimetidine, ranitidine, nizatidine, famotidine, loratidine, all of them are H2 receptor antagonists which are used to treat ulcers. So the op Answer for this question is second one, semitidine. Let us see the next one. Propaxifin is an opioid analgic agonist which is used to treat mild pain and, and used as a cough suppressant. The last one, loperamide. Loperamide is an anti-diarrheal agent. It reduces the peristaltic movement of the intestine and controls diarrhea. So these are all the options. So whatever the question, see all these questions are asked in 2019 ESI Corporation Pharmacist Examination. So I'm telling you repeatedly, you take a question, look at all the options. That's how you develop your knowledge and concept understanding. I hope this is useful. All the best.